Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel. And today I have a very marvelous special guest. Jesus, it was seen. The most watched trans man on this platform with over a quarter of a billion views. It is Jamie Rains of Jammy Dodger. Do yes, I? that is correct, I checked today. She's got a degree. Oh my God. <laughs> Never knew this from starting. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. You just boosted my ego straight away. <laughs> we deserve it, why not? How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks for having me on the channel. I feel You're like welcome. it's something we've like discussed. It for a while. Now <laughs> finally we're here. Yeah, exactly. You're very distracting, I can't. I know, isn't he, just <laughs> Little baby. So my lovelies, today we're going to be reacting to some unhinged trans TikTok nonsense, my lovelies. He's dead. I don't know what we're gonna expect, really. I was kind of hoping that what we could do is maybe share some of our own experiences if they are in any way, shape or form relatable. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I love it. That's <laughs> great. I love a bit of trans TikTok and if they're cringy, they're even better. Oh. So being trans is a bit cringe sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants this. The YouTube compilation that we are reacting to today is on a channel called Alex the Gender. So there you go, you know it's gonna be good. The, the ge not just the gender. gender, the gender. The gender. There's only one gender and it's Alex, apparently. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Okay, so should we get right into it? What's your beverage of choice today? Diet Coke. You're on the Diet Coke. Oh, enemies, I'm on the Pepsi Max. Oh, oh I don't mind Pepsi Max. I prefer Coke Zero. I couldn't, I ran out. There you oh. go. <laughs> Get that aspartame right inside. What did you just say? Right, my lovelies, make sure you pop your ohanger right into your little trans hole. Oh no. <laughs> Can't say that. No, it's say. I'm calling the police. And let's watch some unhinged trans TikToks. Are you ready? I'm ready. I, I don't know if I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah, this could be a bit much, couldn't it? Stand back, you fool. Still looks very much like a man. Oh, babe, I think you have the wrong profile. There's no men that live here. Not one in sight. So sorry you are not getting the results you expected. The results <gasps> are... Oh, you're talking about my face surgery. You know, you're right. I actually am a lot prettier than I expected. Oh, fantastic. And if this was your way of yes, learning, then I'm interested. I like a little cat and mouse game, so <laughs> love ya. There's something about Dylan that's just so like terminally sweet. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I know. When I first saw Dylan, I was a bit like, oh, she's not for me. She's just too happy all the time. But actually watching her like transition online has been so interesting because when it started, everyone was like so pro and so like, yes, it's amazing. But yeah. then like suddenly she reached an audience, I think that she wasn't expecting and seeing the backlash, I'm just a bit like, it's Whoa. one of the reasons why I won't be an activist online because I'm just like, I'm not into being a lightning rod. It's scary. It and is, like, no. d I, she's just so sweet. I know, and she's then, just being like, nice. Yeah, I just can't believe how much people hate on her. And I like, know. but that was a good response. It, it is, yeah. Nice. I mean, I've recently, the other day, I was in a live stream and someone was like, your little piggy nose and voice give you away. And I was like, don't be <laughs> rude. Are you kidding me? Not my piggy nose, I actually like my nose, so. <laughs> No. Thank you, I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> some people are horrible. Oh, they are, they are. Especially when you're online. I don't get a lot of hate, but some of the hate that does come through is either really weird mm. or just a bit like, it, like, Brainless insults, like, still look like a man. It's like, well, you it's wouldn't so know, insipid. actually. Yeah. Insipid is the, the word. It's just like, ugh, you woman. And I'm like, oh, I've not heard that one. Oh, yeah, I know, right, Thank great, you. thanks. Yeah. yeah, groundbreaking here. She does get disproportionate amount of hate, though. I mean, I think it's because the size of the audience. Oh, a hundred percent. I do think TikTok is a hateful place though as well. Like just some of the comments I see on TikTok just in general, I'm like, do you know what? <laughs> Maybe it's not for me. Maybe yeah. I am. We'll just stick over here on YouTube. Thank you. She's an old lady. I mean, look at her. She's dead. Hey, 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 hey. Are you even paying attention to me right now? Oh. Uh, oh, that panic of yeah. like, do I address it? Do I not address it? Mm -hmm. What do I say? So the oh. only time I really experience this is on the phone. And it's my voice. Unfortunately, it is my voice. I've got a very specific kind of voice. It's ketamine and MDMA. And usually if I'm on the phone to the bank or something, they're like, Hello, sir. Aren't you Mr. Sir Luxarian? Hey, wow. I didn't like that. Oh. No. But then like sometimes it goes on too long and I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered. Oh, I'll just I'll deal with the phone call and leave. <laughs> So I was on the phone yesterday and somebody said, hello, sir. And I was, it kind of, not took me by surprise, but like, it's been so long since I've had somebody like gender on the phone. Oh, really? Like, it's just always like, 
the name or whatever. And I was like, I thought people weren't just automatically gendering on the phone because there was like a big discussion about it a few years back. Was there? I swear there was like a thing and it was like, hey, this is really uncomfortable. Like, why do we... Like the whole like um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls thing as well. And like maybe when we do the phone calls, we don't say, hello, sir. We just say, hello. Hello. I just go, hello, sluts. Oh, my Michelle. And I think that works perfectly fine. (laughs) But I don't think I could be at a bank being like, hi, slut. You've gone into your overdraft. You're fired. I'm not made for retail. (laughs) What do we Oh. Oh, God, this is loud. Oh, shit. (laughs) I mean, kind of too. Yeah. I actually specifically made a video when I was early on tea when I was ill because I was like, my voice sounds so deep right yeah. now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got the I didn't know. When I get sick, if anything's wrong with my throat, I'm like, I'm just not going to speak now for a couple of weeks because I've got a pretty androgynous tone voice anyway. It does go into like... The Doom Slayer. Let's just not talk this week. How about uh, that? Yeah, rest everything. I've spoken before about like how it's so bizarre where there's like, there's parallels mm-hmm. and there's like relatability mm-hmm. between trans men and trans women's experiences. But it's literally Oh, it's, totally, like, it's, it's totally, so... You can't get any more of the opposite, yeah. could you? Yeah. I saw one that was like, for trans women, it was like chest bulge, crotch flat. And I was like, for trans guys, <laughs> it's the exact opposite. Other way around. And it's yeah. so bizarre. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Is this a Noah song? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, kind of true. <laughs> I know so many trans guys who are like, I hate my dump truck. I know, right? I think it's great. Own it. I know a lot of cis guys who have like the same like dumpy bum. I, I love thing. a bit of cake. I can't lie. Yeah. <laughs> I love a bit of cake on a guy. Beautiful. What are you doing? A demon. Why are you still holding back? Have you forgotten what they said to us? What they did? Oh, is this revenge? Oh. So that song, that song is actually from an anime called Devil Man Cry Baby, in which Spoiler alert! As a child on the farm, I only ever dreamt of prawns. Lucifer is trans. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. yes, as soon as I saw it, I loved it. But I'm very much a fan of, maybe not the content delivered quite in that way, but I'm very much a fan of, I don't want equality, I want revenge. You want revenge. <laughs> Good heavens. I can be a little bit like harsh sometimes when it comes to this, because I feel like as trans people, we're just like berated so much from so many different sides that sometimes I'm like, do you know what? I'm not looking to seek mm. acceptance from these people. It's like, I'm looking to be like, you know what? Leave me alone. Just completely, I don't want to be a part of this at all. It's become a thing where trans people literally standing up and saying, that's a bit not nice towards trans people. And they say, look at these angry trans people. Yeah, 100%. How dare they, like, why are they asking for more? And it's like, literally. There was one thing recently that kind of surprised me a bit. What's it? The It was when the Barbie film came out. Obviously there's a trans Barbie in it. And yeah. people were like, I can't believe there's a trans Barbie and no one's even mentioning it. So it's like, okay, so you don't want us to talk about our trans experience, but you also don't want us to be trans and not talk about it because you're trying to like erase the fact that we are trans full stop from like feel, public life. I feel like that's a thing. I feel like there is like this subgroup of really hateful transphobes, mostly tubs, who are just like, yeah, I'm not gonna hide anymore. I literally just don't yeah. want trans. I don't want to don't see Don't want it. that anywhere. Yeah, go live in a hole. Oh, that's nice. I feel like that's the evolution of like, oh, we're not transphobic. We just have concerns. And it's like, what are your concerns? The concerns boil down to, why are you alive? For goodness sake, just like, let me live. Like, I'm not interested. It's exhausting. so exhausting. It I'm just like, how many more times can I say, excuse me, I have a right to live, leave <laughs> me alone. That's why I'm so tired all the time. <laughs> Alrighty, time for bed. Non-binary law. Oh, that, what? Oh, gender reveal, I'm leaving. Oh, I love that. That's, a, see, see, that's the kind of trans content gender I can get behind. Yeah, up. gender's <laughs> just like, I'm not interested, actually. Goodbye. No. They're dead. Are you planning on ever, this is going to be a loaded question. Are you planning on having children one day? Yes. 
You are. I see. Yeah. Unrelatable. I'm not. Yeah. Would you ever have a gender reveal no. party? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to die. I didn't oh, think no. you would. And we don't want to tell people either because we don't want people to like go out and buy a bunch of pink stuff or blue oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So it's, everything's going to be quite Which neutral. Right. Surprise! It's a baby! The surprise is there's a baby here. Ta-da! And then we're just going to buy whatever clothes, whatever toys. Pronouns are confusing. They're not. What the fuck is football? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in football? I'm 23 years old and I've never once in my life grasped what the fuck is going on in football. I, I mean, true, too. Have you ever been involved in a football hooliganism? <laughs> not hooliganism, but I do have a confession. Don't oh, no. kick me out. I used to play football when I was Oh, well, so that's fine. That's fine. Are you like a Oh up the menu? No, no, oh, I don't like say. I don't like support and watch. I just used to play Play, and, actively play. Yeah, and then my mum was into like watching football, so we'd like oh. watch some like league stuff. Oh, that's terrible. Thank you. I don't, I don't no. know what I don't know what these yeah. words are. But I got kicked out of the boys team when I was seven because even I was the tallest, biggest child on the team and they were like, no, no. it's too dangerous for a girl. So I was a very prissy child. I was very much like I I used to hate going outside and getting dirty. I'd hate to climb it's trees. A yeah, isn't that <laughs> funny? I was like, no, I can't get dirty. I don't like all that. No, I'm a professional woman. All the sports that I used to like were very like water based. So I used to love swimming, diving, like having a bath whilst exercising. Yes, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever tickles your boat. <laughs> <laughs> what's the saying? <laughs> Float your boat, there you go. Fancy. Ooh. What? I don't know what's <laughs> happening anymore, no. Shut your pie just now. <laughs> Pronouns are a weird one though as well, because if you've got a pet, if I go out with Biscuit, he's like a little blonde dog. People are like, oh, a beautiful lady dog you have. As soon as I go, oh, he's, he's a boy, immediately changed forever and they won't yeah. misgender him again. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I saw a meme that was like a conservative logic and it was like photos of three trans women, him, 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 and then a car, her. Beautiful. And then we have cats. Every single person who meets our cats for the first time, we go, oh, what beautiful girls. Oh, oh how old is trans she? Trans cats. And we're like, boy. Boys, well, we actually. don't say that. We just then start using male pronouns for yeah. them. Yeah. We refer to them. And they're like, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm just so used to every cat being a girl. Apparently it's a thing. Everybody assumes cats are girls. <laughs> that is not correct. Because according to the encyclopedia of... Dogs are boys and cats are yeah. girls. Except Biscuit. Except Biscuit. <laughs> well, he might be, you never know. It's still too early. <laughs> On the blockers. Is he a cross-dresser? Oh. You're not getting misgendered if you're a guy. You can't expect people to know you just feel like a female. Ah. Oh. oh. Yeah. Tea. Accidental Tea. ally. Accidental ally. You tried to be hateful. I do find it's one of those things that seem, if I see it online, like on X or whatever you want to call it, Twitter, it seems to be predominantly the assumption that a trans man is becoming a woman. Yes. It's quite common. I think there's like that assumption that trans people can't possibly in any way look like their gender. So yeah. if they do, then they must be transitioning the other the way. The other way, yeah. Know? They must be at the start of the other way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. goodness me. I think once is enough, to be honest. <laughs> Cancelled! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Are that's you sucks. even paying attention to me right now? Doctors. <laughs> Should we talk yeah. about doctors? doctors. <laughs> I've been like shockingly privileged. The first GP I ever spoke to had actually worked near Charing Cross and had colleagues okay. who oh, worked brilliant. in a gender clinic. He was just like a GP and he gave me all the advice. He told me about gender clinics, wait times, the process, everything. And I was like, oh, this is like magic. That's amazing. And then the next doctor I had, she knew nothing, but she was really, really kind. Okay. She's just like, um, you tell me what you've been told by the experts and I will action it. Great. Oh, that's actually yeah. really lovely. Yeah, and I actually had one, I had to get like, um, because I haven't had a hysterectomy, I need to get like a scan every so often. Mm -hmm. And I needed to get it and I was calling and I was like clearly a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. And a doctor on the phone, this was a third doctor, she was just like, let me help you. I'm really sorry this is like an uncomfortable process. I want to make it as like easy for you as possible. Mm -hmm. So like, this is what I'm going to do for you. Oh, that's and nice. Like, you think it's the default. Being lovely and wanting to learn more about a patient you think would be the default, yeah. but it's not. It's not. No, it's not. so I had a completely different experience. <laughs> so when I first um, went to my GP and I was like, and like gender dysphoria, I, I would quite like to go to the gender identity clinic or something. They were like, die. Oh no, we don't do that. And I was like, right, okay, so 
What, now? Don't do we don't that. do that. Yeah, it was literally just like, we don't do that. So it was in a one in Surrey that I went to and it was very, just stop the conversation. Like, nope. So I ended up like seeing another GP at yeah. that surgery and he was so weird with me. It kind of felt a little bit like fetishy weird. So he was trying to like keep us, like, almost like keep like a professional exterior, but he kept like, just like glaring at me when I was like, I would like to pursue like trans healthcare. And then he did actually write me a referral, but apparently he effed it up because the GIC never got it. But I was told by the surgery that like, oh yeah, it's been sent off. Yeah, it's all good, it's all mm -hmm. good. I waited for like a year and I was a like, year. what's happening with my application or whatever it was yeah. called, referral. And they were like, oh no, we don't have it. So I changed my GP again and then I was referred and he was really good, but we ended mm -hmm. up moving out of the area. So they were like, you can't come to this GP anymore? Great. So then I went to the one that I'm at now and I have never had such a good GP in my oh, life. God. I was like, I know, <laughs> right? yeah, I know, right? So he has been every, he didn't know a single thing, but mm -hmm. every step of the way he's been like, right, we're going to talk to them. I'm going to chase them up to follow up on your blood tests, on your hormone therapy, on everything. Yeah. And um, eventually the GIC discharged me because I didn't need any further help from yeah, them. Yeah, same. And my, my GP has been amazing all the way through. I actually needed to see them again recently just to make sure everything was going right. And I was re-referred in 2019. I just got my appointment, like, last month. I know, right? Four years. So the first time to see the GIC was five years, and the second time was four years. Oh my god. God. Isn't that insane? Which one, do you mind me asking? Tavistock. I don't know what happened. Mm. I had like somebody on my side. Someone, I, I think honestly, sometimes it is just a bit of a lottery. I don't think it's first come yeah, first no, serve. I, I think but I don't think they'll tell you that. <laughs> that admin is shocking. Oh, it's so I wouldn't be surprised if it's like, Oh, these are the order against two fish. Oh dear God. One of the last times I went to this specific place that I had to like have a lot of my details read to me, they were all wrong and there was someone else's. And I was like, this is a huge breach of like patient confidentiality. But oh I did immediately God. say like, that's not me actually. And they were yeah. like, oh, but I've done my reading on this. It almost sounded like they were going to be like, oh, I've made a mistake. So we'll see you in another four year. It felt like that's the way it was going. Did you have a moment of like- I was like, oh God, I've waited so long for this. Like, don't say the wrong thing. Yeah. And it felt weird for me as a patient to have to be like, this is the way we're going to do it. Even away from like GICs, anything to do with healthcare that remotely relates to the fact I'm trans, I have to- you have to be the expert. It. I have to contact people. I have to like push for certain appointments. And it's just really uncomfortable because mm -hmm. you get a lot of, why? You have to have a thick skin to be trans. And I think you have to have an even thicker skin to be trans on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Nothing like it. I don't think it I does. Think it I don't does. think testosterone does kill your uterus. No, That's I, extreme language. From what I am aware of, it can affect the lining. Yes. And make things a bit more painful for some people. But you just you thought of it, right? Take it a bit slower. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect to be talking about that. Yeah, take it slower, no, stop being naughty. <laughs> but like it's there's so much misinformation that like the there was a detransitioner who made a TikTok who's like I was on testosterone and they said like it's made their body misshapen they can't have sex without pain at all oh and they it's damaged their voice and like just this long list of things that it's like it doesn't do that and if it did start doing that you are like an anomaly and having a bad reaction absolutely. so you need to speak to a Ab medical professional absolutely because that is not what is supposed to happen mm -hmm. at all i don't think it kills it I, I mean, know know you need to get things checked if it's still all there, but... If it's still all there, or you just misplaced there. it on the bus. And I left it on the train. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 well, there are bed bugs now on the train, so that's oh, fun, I heard isn't about it? That. Awful. Lamp. When it comes to, like, side effects of hormones, though, I do find it kind of interesting, because a lot of the doctors I've seen are like, just so you know, are you sure you what? It's like breast growth. It's like you, know, you get softer skin. Like oh, it's or you know you <laughs> like, lose you muscle know mass. <laughs> it's very much like yes, those aren't side effects. Those are effects yeah. that I want. Like yeah, very strange. Those are side effects. If for some reason a cis guy had to take some, no. it's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's a bit too much. <laughs> it's to a bit much. Yeah. yeah, a bit too much for Why a would you do that for yourself? It's a bit yeah. much. Yeah. I found a contact with criminal connections in the southeast of England and set up a covert meeting with a top cocaine dealer. <laughs> it's, if you don't I mean, have a credit card, you can't get a I binder. I know, I was just like, about to say, yeah. like, unfortunately, 
if you have to rely on like nationalized healthcare like we do in the UK, quite often your first foray into like HRT is not through legal ways, should we say? Sometimes it's a bit more gray market. And that's what that feels like. Being 14 and trying to get a binder, I can imagine is like, yeah. oh, how do you do this? See, the first time I've never spoken about this. It's not that big a deal. Oh, but the first... An exclusive, everybody. Ooh, ooh. I can no, cut it out if you want me no, to. No, no, no. That was fine. <laughs> the first time I tried binding, I literally used the scarf that came with my prom dress. <gasps> oh, my God. Because I was like, what do I do? Like, And I was like, this is really... I hate this. I want it to look flat. And I was like, I can just like make you could, it Yeah, flat. just and do like, it. And I was like, woo. And then I loved it. And I was like, oh, yeah, this was great. Oh, we, uh, don't we have to be so creative yeah. in order to make these things function? This is my only fashion moment. <laughs> <laughs> I love that though. It's interesting that we have to be quite ingenious with how we tackle like, I was going to say problems, they're not problems, but like making you feel more like yourself. And a lot yeah. of it is like self-discovery. Like you just happen to think of a thing and be like, maybe I'll try wearing four pairs of underwear today instead yeah. of one. And then it's like, oh my God, flat surface, great. It's really interesting hearing your perspective on yeah. this, like, what you do. Because I was just about to say, I've heard of people filling condoms with lube to create a bulge. There you go. Apparently it didn't work out very well. I'm not it surprised. wasn't me. It was... They popped. <laughs> mm, imagine having like pop lube down your leg. Mm, no. Not today. Not on a Tuesday. <laughs> no. Nah. It's not a Tuesday, is it? It's a Friday. Friday. <laughs> Bitch! So, my lovelies, I've got some thoughts about what we've seen today. We've shared some kind of like personal stories, I think. Yeah. I sort of didn't really expect it to go kind of this way, but I kind of like that it did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, don't say deep on the channel. Not today. <laughs> Bottoms up and the double laps. We delved below the surface yes. of what it means to be trans on the internet. Mm -hmm. I'd be trans full stop Generally, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Yay. Mm. <laughs> No. Anyway, my lovelies, go follow Jamie over on YouTube. If you do not know who Jamie is already, I'm sure you do because he has immensely many more followers than I do. I'd be surprised if you didn't. Jamie Dodger over here on YouTube for extra meme reactions and transphobia. Trans well, I don't make the transphobia. Yeah, he's very transphobic. Yeah. 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 Well, they deserve it, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine doing all that. Anyway, my lovelies, I want to say a massive thank you to my Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. Yes, you can, little biscuit boy. And I also want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Emoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Worsham, Eric Castillo, Finn Dunham, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larry Lane, Laura Jane, Les Banana, Lizette Cares, Min Min Tier, Mariah Sherman, Ms. Kiss, Novembrix, Paolo Rivera, Rubix.co, Ryan Vita, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, The Chaos Collective, Vicky Walsh, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. Oh, sorry, I got me so There you go. Oh, no, now he's like, oh my God, you're I talking like. to me. And you know what, my loves? I think I'm going to leave it on the notes of be creative in your early transition because sometimes getting appointments is very difficult. 